always awkward drinking from this glass. It just looks weird. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another couple special of Ladies Night. Some couples are great at learning together and teaching each other. And if you watched my previous Ladies Night with Kevin and Thais, we talked about different levels of stress and how that can affect a relationship and how to be patient while teaching your significant other how to sail. But another approach is to go learn outside of the relationship, to go learn from someone else. For this one, I had the pleasure to chat with my dear friends Jordan and Desiree. We spent plenty of time getting to know each other when we were in Mexico and I could not be happier to have both of them in the show tonight. Grab your glass and let's talk about how not to teach your significant other how to sail. Cue transition. Jordan, when you met Des, you were already sailing, right? That Yeah, that's right. I I had already been like a sailing instructor for like a summer, but I the biggest boat that I had captain myself was like a J24. At that point, I knew how to sail small boats well. Okay. And what about you, Des? No, Atticus was the first sailboat I ever set foot on. <laughs> And then we bought it. <laughs> and so I worked on yachts for the last three years before buying Atticus, and that's how we met. Um, but like a motor yacht that's 300 feet long is nothing like a sailboat that's 30 feet long. <laughs> so it was all a big, uh, big change. The other complicating factor for us was that we had a three year refit to get through before we could actually even start sailing Atticus. Um, and we had never refit anything just like you guys, you know how stressful it is. And so and we were also kind of newly dating. There are so many things that we were battling against that the idea of going out for a sale, you know, didn't even cross our minds until we kind of broke down. We were kind of like in sprint mode for the first part of our refit. And then we were like, oh, if we work like this for three years, we're going to kill each other and ourselves. When we bought Atticus, it she wasn't ready to sail. The rig needed to be the rigging needed to be replaced, and it was super sketchy. So we weren't able to sail Atticus for a while. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we joined the um, Key West Sailing Club, and we would take little O'Day twenty twos out. We, we we treated it like it was a lesson, like it was a sailing lesson. And the, the cool part of it was that Jordan was a sailing instructor for about a year in college. He knew all of the you know charts and you know how to like progress through a sailing class so that was really helpful and I remember we were in the V birth and he would draw pictures of the point of sale and everything so that was really cool um, the problem that I found was we did it so intermittently and then beyond that we were working full-time in the heat and so the idea of on our one day off to go and like do a sailing lesson which is a lot to take in initially um, I, I just, you know, I had a hard time wanting to do that on our day off. I'd like find air conditioning and like pass out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. One of the particular situations with our relationship, and I guess it's probably not that uncommon, but because I know a lot about sailing and Desiree knew not a lot. And so it was my, you know, I was trying to teach her, we, I didn't do that very well from like a relationship standpoint. And I still find it very difficult to stay, like remain objective and not get frustrated. And because if you're an instructor, you know, you get fired if you get angry at your students, <laughs> you know, it's pretty, pretty simple. Whereas in a relationship, you know, I, I it's, it's hard for me to control, you know, my temper and, and to, like I said, remain objective. It, it was hard to make it fun. We enjoyed working together, but there was a couple of times when I would work with other captains because we ran sailing charters in Key West. And it was crazy because I'd find myself learning way more with them about sailing than I would with Jordan. And that's kind of when I started thinking, you know what, maybe I should start looking into uh, learning on my own on the side, you know, so it's not like another issue in our relationship. Because sailing together as a couple is already learning about each other, right? So when you, when one of you is trying to teach the other, you both of you get frustrated because you're not really working on your relationship anymore. At some point, you're just trying to work on getting someone to do something. It's basically like taking a relationship that generally is equal and then saying, okay, right now we're not equal. And now you listen to me, you know? And like just going from one to the other like that 
I think is a hard transition yeah. for both for both parties, I think. Mm. And I would get defensive and stubborn and, you know, so it just, the idea that in a relationship and in, in a cruising relationship, you wear so many hats and like we figured out how to be good partners that live together and support each other. We have a YouTube channel and run a business together. But the idea that somehow miraculously Jordan is going to be the ideal teacher and I'm going to be the ideal student is just didn't happen for us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and like you said, Geek, I really like how you put it that in in a lot of ways, like learning to cruise as a married couple, well, now we're married. We weren't when we started. So learning to cruise as a couple in general, I think a lot of what you're trying to learn and get better at is the art of cruising, you know, the skill of cruising. Mm -hmm. But a huge amount of it is just learning how to deal with these difficult, stressful situations together. Mm -hmm. um, and we've improved a lot. Um, even though we lived on Atticus for three years before we sailed it um, and three years before we started cruising, um, there was still a lot to learn in that first couple of months of just like being underway and figuring out your lifestyle and your routines and everything. Uh, you mentioned that you're planning on going uh, on a sail on somebody else's boat just to learn those basics. Yeah, so I'm going to be um, going on a charter with Sail Libra, and they do offshore passages for um, anyone that they do, um, if you're single, if you're in a couple, if you're in a group, um, and basically it's offshore cruises to teach you everything you need to know about cruising and doing offshore passages. Actually, it happened somewhat accidentally for us, because both of us were invited, but only I was able to go, and then I started thinking, oh, I'm going to be alone, and like there's no expectation about what I should understand and not understand because that's the problem we have when we're teaching and learning. Yeah, because you won't have like, you only have the relationship teacher student at this point. You don't have like a whole baggage of other relationships to worry about. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to I've talked to the instructor and I just said, listen, just act like I've never touched a boat before and like I will not get defensive. Like I want to learn everything from the ground up. Um, so I think that that freedom of just not having any expectations on the learning process is going to be awesome. That's great. I'm so excited for you. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I assume that, that when you come back, that's going to make your relationship even stronger because then you, you have caught up to that level of learning. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody was watching you and had the similar situation where there's a gap between her or him and her or his partner... Um, what would you think the like a few tips for them would be? Um, I guess I would say don't give up on the fact that you can't learn from your partner. Cause like Jordan was saying, we've we've met a lot of couples, and like you and Dan learn together really well. Um, but if if you're hitting a brick wall, and like you were saying, also sailing lessons become not fun, um, then maybe consider reaching out to someone else who you respect doesn't have to be a paid lesson. I just kind of lucked out with the sail Libra opportunity. Um, but like in Key West, there was a um, free women's sailing club. So trying to find opportunities where you're sailing with other people. Um, and then the other thing that really helped me is a couple of times when I had family visiting, I would try to take out a Hobie, Hobie cat by myself and like one other person. And I didn't have Jordan there to kind of be making sure I did everything correctly. So I really was able to play around and have fun and just experiment. Um, so that was awesome. So if you if you find any safe circumstance where you can play around and make mistakes without feeling bad about it, then, you know, look, seek for those opportunities. I, I totally agree with the small boat thing that Desiree was saying. Like, I think the best way to learn how to sail is just spend as much time as you can in a smaller boat that you could hit something with and <laughs> not kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. And, and you'll just learn so fast. But also I think that the point where we started to get better at working together was when I think we stopped judging ourselves for not being all that great at working together. You know, mm -hmm. like I think and I've met a lot of people that are very worried. They're like, Oh, I'm so nervous because we don't seem to work that well together. I think once you stop judging that and start saying okay that's something that we can improve on mm -hmm. at that point it, it it's a whole nother world because then you can continually and slowly you know mess up discuss how you mess up and try and come up with ways to do better in the future i think if you want to 
get your significant other involved and interested and enthusiastic about cruising, you got to realize that, I mean, I don't know, Keith, I don't know what you think, but probably 80% of cruising like kind of sucks really. (laughs) And so, and so, but it's worth it because, you know, 10 to 20% of it is just amazing. And so to me, the idea should be like, get a taste of that 10 to 20% as quickly as possible, like as early in your cruising experience as possible, Mm -hmm. because you need to have this like goal in your head or this like idea of like, okay, this is why I'm going through all this stuff that sucks. Like Mm -hmm. this is why I'm working so hard and beating myself up and what seems to be like torturing myself on purpose. (laughs) Like, (laughs) Like you have to have that image in your head of why you're doing it. And I, in my experience, when I've seen couples where, generally like the guy's super into it and the woman's not, I think it normally comes down to the fact that the woman hasn't had that moment yet. I feel like if we were to do it over again, we would have, you know, put a little, a little cash aside and done like a charter in the BVI or something. Yeah, like. or just like a stupid sunset sail in Key West, you know, <laughs> before we started working on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yes. I agree. At the same time, I would say that when, when a significant other is trying to convince the other to go sailing, right? And they mm-hmm. sell the idea of how beautiful it is and the yeah. sunset mm-hmm. and the sunshine and the dolphins always, then you put, they're putting what they want their significant other to think that it's always like that. Sure. And I think, I think that the reality is to kind of plainly show that is 80% like boring. And, you know, like go for, instead of going for one sunset sail, I think they should go for like a week sail so that the person sees the reality of sailing, not just the pretty part. And it's a great also, point. I would say what's, I'm excited about this sail Libra trip because it's going to be a passage. And like, I have moments of passages where I'm like, this is beautiful. But I'm never like, oh my gosh, I love passages <laughs> because it's, it's physically and emotionally draining to like just sleeping so little. And so it's eight days of passage making. So that that could be a, a cool idea as well. Not just go and sail around and putz around and gunk hole, but like be on a passage and then feel the empowerment of getting from one place to the other. Like that first sail that we had when we dropped the hook after like a huge storm, I I couldn't describe that feeling in words and I only get it on Atticus, really. So that, but that's something that I had to understand and go through on my own to get there. So that's a really good point. Not just pretty sales. Yeah, basic. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Keek. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. But not only should they see that 10 to 20 percent, but having a very realistic understanding of that 80 20 relationship mm-hmm. would go a long way to make, you know, keeping people from getting discouraged. I think that's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yay, thank you so much, guys. That's awesome. I think we have some really good points. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to watch it. It'll be awesome. Cheers. Cheers. I think that his choice to go out there and learn from a different captain is a very smart one because then you only focus on the teacher-student relationship instead of stressing out about a more personal relationship. And again, that doesn't mean that it will work for everyone. Some couples are great at learning together. But if you do feel that things are getting more frustrating or stressed out when you're trying to learn from each other or teach each other, then maybe you can consider going out there and learn on other boats. It might give you that boost of confidence to make sailing with your significant other a smoother ride. Anyway, that is it for this ladies night. I do hope that you find the information helpful and I will see you in the next one. Cheers my friends! I still need to finish this class. (laughs) Can you imagine? I bought this two years ago and it's still not broken. This is, this is amazing. This is a, this is a record here.